Morning, Rob. Morning. You ready to get lost? Ready to get lost, Rob? Oh. Beyond this point, you'll encounter cliffs, out of Worcester Mountains boundary. Lots of people become lost, disoriented, or injured in this area, then require call to assistance from local search and rescue. Woohoo! Tenzawi, baby! Tenzawi! <laughs> Go and get your body, can you do that fun thing? Go and get your body, can you do that fun thing? Go and get your body. Move that body, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What a hilarious way to start the day. Thoughts on that lap, Rob? I'm glad there's no better snow to ski. That was uh, less than ideal. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Want to just ski on either side of the creek? Oh. It's a little big timby. Ready to hit some trees with those new skis? These things are getting whacked today. Dude, this snow is nice, dude. What the hell? Oh man, that is some poor coverage, Rob. Big timber, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of timber in here. That's for damn sure. Have you ever seen more timber in your life there, Rob? This is challenging. This is a lot of timber. I think we should have just gone right to Peak to Creek. Oh my God, dude. This is just ultimate dumb. This is so ridiculous. This is one way to break in a new pair of skis. Oh wow! Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Not bad, dude! Yoo-hoo! Back at the Creekside Gondola. 10 out of 10. Not in control for any of that. Nope, no, no <laughs> control, but obviously loved it. Yeah, exactly. All right, up we go. <laughs> up we go. Ready for round two, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. You are now outside of Whistler Mountain Ski Area Boundary. This area is not patrolled. There's no easier way out. Woo! Dude, look at this <laughs> terrain. That's serious, eh? So sick. First lap was adventurous, second lap is going to be more adventurous. Just arrived at the, uh, the Stew Inn, the Kyber Smoke Shack. Let's, uh, let's do a little tour here. Wonderful stickers, you know, all around. Um, oh, geez. It absolutely reeks of cushion here, but uh, it's warm, like it's wind protected. I think someone just uh, smoked, smoked doig in there because uh, that'd be a great spot to cook up some lunch, pull the little queue out. Let's go see the surrounding area. Good spot for beer in. We got a tribute to the disc golf lords here. Tribute to the disc golf lords. The lettuce of the devil himself. This is cool. Super cool area. Definitely a great chilling spot. So Rob and I are trying to figure out the plan. We're going somewhere that away is all we know. Um, looks very confusing. I can see how this gets very confusing already. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! 
<laughs> All right, yeah. Well, now this just gets crazy tight. Huh. Well, now we're good. Now we're going down left. Huh. Do you want to get higher? This hasn't really hit me as any of a, like a fun time. No. At all yet. So, um, we got a little double drop here. Rock guard? Probably. I sure hope so. Yeah. Fuck! Ah. Ha! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Somewhere this way. Look at these chunks. Straight down? Like, I don't know. Oh! Holy crap! East Coast, can I get a hell yeah? Where are all my homies on the East Coast? I think I just filmed all that in time warp or hyperlapse, but that's great because it was a bit of a time warp going in there. Super fun, super hard to navigate for sure, but we're back on the cat track headed towards the Creekside base. Um, because the conditions are so wonderful, I think we're going to call it and go ski a few groomers or something on the resort after we have a, a bite to eat, but that was kick-ass. Rob, thoughts? Phenomenal. Yeah, I'm stoked. Lots of cliffs to be jumped off in there uh, on a snowier day, so we'll be back.